Hi, this is Sandy with a little bit of glitter. And today I've got a card using some of Lon Fawn's new release. I'm using the water can die set, their stitched veggie die set, the little farm fence border, along with the veggie happy stamp collection. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be notified of future videos. You can also follow me on Instagram at Sandy Cogno or on my blog a little bit of glitter. Let's go ahead and get started. To start with I'm going to cut out the top of the little carrot from some pesto spiffy speckle cardstock and the carrot part is spiffier speckles Griffin, I believe, is the name of that cardstock. I'm going to go around the carrot with a little bit of spiced marmalade, um, distressed oxide ink, just to kind of give it a little bit of dimension and texture. And then on the top of the little carrot, I'm going to go around that with mowed lawn. And I'm just using a small brush here, I'm dipping it on my ink pad, and then just wiping off the bulk of it on my little glass. Um, work surface there. the watering can out of some gray pattern paper. I believe the collection was Spring Fling. I think Lawn Fawn did that a couple years ago. For the door opening, I'm using the Build a House gingerbread add-on. I just lined that up in the center of the watering can at the bottom and cut it out um, using my die cut machine. I'm going to use Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide ink to go around all those edges just to soften it up. I think that makes a big difference in um, making it not so harsh looking once it's against the other papers on the card. top of the carrot off and just stuck it in the top opening of the watering can and glued it down. Then I'm going to take a small piece of yellow spiffier speckles pattern paper and just cut it to size to put in the opening of the door. Um, then I'm going to use the build a house gingerbread die to cut that door out again out of some pink spiffy speckle paper and then I'll just glue that into the opening. I didn't do any shading on any of those pieces. I just didn't feel like they were big enough to, to mess with. I'm going to use some washi tape to tape a piece of paper, roughly five by six, to my work surface. I'm going to use my grassy stencil, a little bit of twisted Citron Distress Oxide ink uh, to go ahead and put that first layer of grass down on my paper. Then I'll come back with mowed lawn and just hit those uh, grass blades at the top and kind of in different spots around the rest of the grass uh, just to add a little bit of dimension and color to it. Then I'll water down a little bit of mowed lawn distress oxide ink and spatter that 
on my paper, um, again, to give it a little bit of dimension and interest. Once my grass is dried, I'm going to use the top part of my stencil and cover up that area and tape it down uh, with some washing tape. And then I'm going to go up to the top of my paper using my cloudy stencil and some Broken China uh, Distress Oxide ink and start laying in clouds from the top going all the way down to the grass blades. And then when I come down to those grass blades, I'm going to just go ahead and just blend in a little bit of, uh, of ink to kind of give it more of a horizon line rather than just ending abruptly with the clouds. I'll spritz that with a little bit of water. Um, then I'll just kind of blot that with a paper towel. And then with some watered down broken china, I will speckle the rest of the cloud area to give it a little bit of color. Once that drop, that's dry, then I'll go ahead and cut it to, I believe it's five and a quarter by four. I didn't need to do a whole bunch of stamping for this card because I just had a few of the plants that I wanted to put in there and a couple of mice. Um, I went ahead and stamped that on uh, color blend, ex express color blend cardstock. That's what I prefer to use. The Copic colors that I'm using are E35, E37, E59. Those are my dark browns. My pink colors are RV66 and RV69. The blues are B21 and B24. My reds are R02, R24, and R29. My yellows are Y06, Y18. My mice are W0, W1, and W3. For the pink shades, I used R20 and R22. And my greens were just G09 and G14. There's no crazy coloring on this. All of the images are very small. Uh, so it was actually a very quick color.
for the sentiment, I'm using the new Henry's Build a Sentiment Spring. What I did first was I put it in my Misty to see where I wanted the sentiment to start. Uh, and then I closed my lid just to get that first letter or first word where I wanted it to begin. And then I used the grid on the lid of my Misty to line up the rest of the words. Um, I found that the easiest way to make sure everything was straight as opposed to just trying to lay them on my card and get it straight that way. I have to say, I absolutely love this stamp set. It makes doing a sentiment so much easier than having to look through all of your stamp sets to find just the right sentiment or having to cut them apart to make it work um, for the card you're making. So I was really excited to see this new stamp set and since they said this was a spring edition, I am pretty sure they must be planning on doing other seasons also. So kudos to Lawn Fawn. Very exciting. comes the fun part. I'm going to adhere my background to a piece of fake tan cardstock cut at five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I'm going to glue my little fence piece on. I should have done that first uh, before I glued it to that fake tan cardstock. It would have made trimming it just a little bit easier. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it on or glue on my little um, watering can. I glued a couple of the tomato plants uh, directly to the background and then the rest of the pieces I popped up with foam tape just to give it a little bit of dimension. Um, everything else seemed so flat at that point that I felt like I really needed to have uh, just a little bit of pop to that card. got to this point I decided that the sky needed just a little bit of something so I have a little bowl that's got little pieces of 
butterflies and flowers and little grass pieces and I dug through that and found some butterflies to put on the top of my card. I also thought that that watering can needed just a little bit something above that door so I decided to put a heart above the door. Other than that, that's about it. I think this card turned out super duper cute. It just reminds me of my grandma and grandpa, how they loved the garden, how my grandpa had that fun metal watering can. So, I surely hope that you have enjoyed watching this process. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe if you'd like to be notified of future videos. You can follow me on Instagram at Sandy Cogdill or on my blog, A Little Bit of Glitter. Thanks again, and I hope you have a fantastic spring. Bye-bye.